All right, so board uh, round four, our first draw vote has been held. Uh, introduce yourself and what power you played. I'm David Hood, I played the Germans. Tom Coburn, I played the Italians. Jason O'Donnell, I played the Russians. I'm Jay Trotta, I was friends. Okay, and uh, who wants to give me the overview about uh, sort of what happened in this game to start with? I think Tom ran the board. <laughs> So I think he's the, he, he, he should be on the driver's side. All right. I really do. I mean, I think he did. He Plus, he has experience in videos. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a few in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll try to avoid it. Okay. <laughs> I cuss more to diplomacy tournament than I do like the rest of the year. Um, you know, from my perspective in the South, I had the uh, Turk uh, and the, uh, well, yeah, had actually, and the Austrian and the Russian that said they were all willing to work for me. I decided I really wanted to work with the Russian um, and because I think that's a strong alliance and I thought he'd be a strong alliance partner. And we just absolute the three of us, Turkey, uh, Russia, and Italy, just brutalized Austria, about the most brutal Austria. I think they were out in 2 All right, who was Austria then? Brand it was uh, Brandon It's literally and true that the Austrians oh, were out before the neutrals were out. Three, yeah. zero, <laughs> and the had, neutrals they had, they did better. Had, they had no, the, the, Turk, the Turks, I, I moved to Trieste. Yeah, it was just this is not a uh, And then from my perspective, it was a, both Turkey and Russia wanted me to work with them against the other. Uh, I thought I could get a better alliance play with the Russian player, so I went with the Russian player. Um, and frankly, uh, we brutalized Turkey pretty dang much faster than we thought we were going to brutalize Turkey. All right, and, and Turkey that, was played by Zach. Oh, right. uh, and that really killed France. With Turkey went going down that fast because for a long time, I was Italy. I mean, I was in the end of the Salt Lake Italian game. I had like three fleets sitting here, which really kept the French from thinking they could, I think, kept the French from thinking they could do much to me because they couldn't. Um, I swung the fleets east, but they only stayed east for like a year. Oh, it was that quick? Yeah, well, that was, there were misorders. Yes, there were misorders Well, I mean, Turkey. you guys took the draw at the end of 1905, right? All right. Um, and so the fleets moved, I moved the fleets the Aegean, I supported the Aegean, the Aegean literally made one, helped with one support, and then already was going west. Okay, so that's how fast. All right, this all went very quickly. That's how fast the fleet died. At this, roughly, at the, right before I moved west, the, oh, beforehand, the French player had come up to me several turns earlier and asked me if I wanted to attack David Hood. Since attacking David Hood is like my favorite thing to do, Okay. <laughs> Christmas present. It's your Christmas present. You can ask the French player. The first time he asked me, I literally fell against the wall and said, I can't believe I'm saying it. I can't do it yet. <laughs> but he was persistent. He came to me like a year later and said, now can you do it? And I said, now. Now I have two armies I can send that way. Okay. And so at the same time, I moved, my Russian ally moved an army north on Hood. And the French player, uh, I supported the French player in uh, Munich, and that I think is the end of me, my job. Your story. How many centers did you end on? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve center top, so it was 12, 10, 8, 4. 12, 10, 8, 4. All right. Is that pretty you know, good result? My, my position at this point right now is it's possible I could make progress against Russia if I decided to go for the win. But he actually has played a really good game. If you look at the board, he's got a really strong that's, defensive position. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, that's basically right. And there's twofold. One is it would be, at a minimum, a really hard fight. Okay. Right. And we've been great allies since 01, and I don't want to launch a probably fail because as soon as I attack he kisses and makes up with the French I'm yep. fighting a two front war yep. and I don't want to launch a probably fail solo attempt against an ally that's been such a good ally right and you're 12 you're not that far behind him he there's no no England is left right so right. He's, he's got no threat up there no Germany's up right yeah okay and if we're doing meta, if we're doing meta gaming right uh, my results in this tournament have been so poor my my evaluation was even a solo is doesn't get you on the top, top board. board. Okay. 
All right. So let's hear from the uh, the France and Germany here, and sure. uh, tell you what. Why don't you swing over and sit over here? Yeah. I get you guys yeah. together in frame. Well, I said I don't know if you want me sitting. Oh well. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is diplomacy. This is not real life. <laughs> so how did it start? You guys went after England to begin with? Yeah, uh, we. Uh, I, I tend to play really aggressively in the West, and David told me he feels the same way. You, you figure your theater out and get some tempo going the other way. Uh, I agreed with that. That seemed like a good idea. Uh, we did kind of a, a sea line without Russian assistance, supported him in a North Sea in 01. That's uh, a sea line. Yeah. I was somewhat fortunate in that. Uh, did you ever take a British dive? I, I did not. Yeah. Mm. Um, That's the best kind of sea lion yeah. in France. It, um, that was partially my fault because I made a crucial misorder. I'm trying I to let, convoy over? No, I let the, for no reason whatsoever, I moved out of Denmark and let the English retreat there as I was kicking them out of the Helga. Just a complete yep, misorder. Just, yep. just okay. being tired from playing four rounds in two days. Yep, there you That's go. Really what it was. And that wasn't the only mistake I made. I made several mistakes. Uh, slowed me down mm -hmm. against the English, and then even when I saw his, and I'm going to let you tell the story of the stab, mm -hmm. but even when I saw his stab coming, and I didn't want to believe it, it's the worst thing you can do as a diplomacy player. Once That's you right. see it's coming, support the move into Burgundy, support North Sea, so he can't take those things. I said, that's what I ought to do. I had the orders written, scribbled them out, said, man, if he does that and I block him, that's great, but my game's still over. I'm just going to have to hope he doesn't stab me. One minute to the deadline. stab me and I was out of position. So uh, there you go. So how'd you decide to, to yeah, when did you decide to make the move? After you'd taken England's last time? Uh, I, uh, England was sitting around and he was janissary for one of Russia, English, and myself. I, I don't think any of us really knew who. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and our English player remind me again? Uh, Darius, yeah. Uh, so, I, I saw Italy getting huge right away. Uh, that was the quickest takedown of Austria I've ever seen. 30 seconds. One of the quickest Turkish takedowns I've ever seen. Um, and I knew that I probably wasn't going to grow that way. And if I spread myself out, I was worried that that would entice Germany to look for the stab. Um, Russia at first had some good cases going, seconds. and I thought we would be able to work together on Germany. Uh, Ten, so nine, I forced my way eight, into seven, Burgundy six, while also five, taking a swing at Belgium. Four, three, uh, and I, I set it up two, by building an army of grass and saying I was using that to defend against the Italian. Um, and I knew that was the tip off, and yeah. I still didn't believe it. Because who builds an army in Brest? Marseille. I mean, it okay, Paris. was Marseille occupied? It was occupied. Paris was unoccupied. Oh, uh, so. Uh, uh, all right. I, David, what, I'm sorry, do you think you just build an army in Paris there and say I'm moving it to support Marseille? Um, I think he was right to think an army in Paris was definite. Okay. Of a stab. Ah. Uh, Army Brest, I thought was a stab. I just didn't want to believe it. Well, so it gave you that room to, to didn't want to stab trick yourself. He have built a fleet Brest and said he was going to stab it, but the fleet Brest would have been used for the rest of the time. Okay. All right. So when I knew that, I knew he was going to stab me, and I just didn't want to believe it. Okay. Yeah, it, it was interesting because I was wedged in between these two guys who are real veterans. This is my first major tournament, and uh, I, I made the pitch, hey, do you want to attack David Hood? Because I know everybody here has a history and some good friendships. Uh, if I were on the same board with my brother, that's the number one thing I want to do. Um, and yeah, I, I took a swing at Germany. I think my eyes probably got a little too big. I probably would have done better without making the stab or making sure I got more out of it. But Maybe focusing on Scandinavia first? Or, um, or were you just kind of buddied up with Russia enough that you didn't want to attack him? Yeah, I, I had never really considered going towards Scandinavia, hmm. and I, I didn't really think I had enough fleets in the area to do it effectively, plus I had made a deal with Germany that he oh. would take it. Okay, well, and if you pull the fleets up there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, uh, so from your point of view in the early game, pretty much they've got it right? I mean, there was no middle game. The game is over. It went yeah. from early game to end game. Well, right? I think I think that was mostly driven by Tom. Tom came with a good plan to take out Austria, take out Turkey, and then push west. Yeah. And, then, and, and that's pretty much what we did. Now, what was neglected to mention, which I think is a good point to discuss, is I opened at 6. In 02, I got to 7. But... He supported and allowed Turkey to get extended, 
into that, Austria? In, into Austria, and I actually went down a build, and I popped the fleet. Wow, in the south. In the south. And you still took him down like, like, oh, wow. Yeah. And, um, but what that did is it allowed him to ascend it, and so I actually went back down to six uh -huh. in 03. And then he had a decision to make, because Turkey was still in a good position, but he was extended. And he decided that it was better to work with Russia, and we just collapsed on him, and he had nothing. He didn't see it coming at all. Uh -huh, yeah, he, well, there you go. And, and so, and that's I think, I think between the, the three of you, you might have one or two more tournament games under your belt than, than these guys, yeah. Now, in the North, the North was a little interesting, because uh, initially, David Hood wanted me to move north, and I saw that there was opportunity in the south, so I moved south, and we negotiated. I said, you know, you let me have Sweden, you tell me what to build with it, and where you want it to go. And he said, build fleet north coast and take Norway. He said, basically, he's going against England, and that's what I did. So one of the things is, if you're Russia, and, you know, you see that German fleet in Denmark, Negotiate, negotiate. Yeah, and all day. That allowed me to get that early build in, yep. secure Scandinavia a little bit. Yep. Uh, late game, or mid game actually, there is no late game. Um, it was very interesting. David and I supported French into each other, supported you know English into each other, and we actually went back and forth. Um, but we always, you know, we always talked about this is what we thought we needed to do and what our options were. And then, like, right at the end here, to help push me into second, because I was behind France for most of the rest of the game, except towards the end, right. I negotiated with David Hood and I said, here, this is what we can do to help me and help you. And so for you, like, that placement uh, on the board was, was something that you cared about. Uh, even though maybe in the tournament that's a, the delta of just a couple of points, you never know. Is that what your theory? Well, so there's there's a couple of things for me. Uh, would I have loved to top the board? Yes. I was in third place for such a long time that that climb looked really big. Right. Second uh, place becomes like a win condition. Yeah. yeah. The other thing though is is really I'm in a pretty good position. In theory, there's some extra play here. Yeah, um, somebody could have voted that drawdown. Yeah, yeah, somebody could have voted that. But in reality, uh, France is a good player. Italy's an excellent player. And I think we would have just seesawed back and forth for a while. You know, Germany used to be a pretty good player. And Ger well, <laughs> Germany's a great player, too. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. But, you know, yeah. One more point. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, no. Austria went down amazingly fast. Yeah, sure. But he played a very good game. Okay. For the for the year that he played, he actually tactically he played a good game. Yeah, okay. he got ganked, jumped really hard. Three people come for you, players. you know, you die. Didn't even blink. It wasn't like we weren't even defending against each other. All three of us just launched at everything we had. Would it have? Did he bounce you out of Galicia, or did he let you yes. into Galicia? He, did. he bounced him out of Galicia, and That's he said still. Yeah. But how? Oh, because you took trust. How did he not? Did he not go to Greece? Did he not get Greece? Uh, the or? Turks put, yeah, the Turks put me in Greece. He didn't give it. Take until oh, that's what you're talking about. The neutrals doing better. All right. Well, they, you know, that's some hard cheese when you're Austria. You just gotta be like, all right. Well, guys, I'm gonna go to the bar. All yeah. Right. There's sometimes you have no options. Yeah, absolutely. He played really well, and that's the only reason I wanted to make that point is okay. because he played. I think he diplomatically he played well, tactically he the played best well. he could. Get and the best. fact that he got that badly ganked was no reflection on this. Whereas Thanks. my position is totally because of this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys very much. Good Thanks luck tomorrow. You.